guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall apartment tour. I'm finally doing an apartment tour. You guys have been wanting me to do this since I moved into my apartment almost two years ago. I've never finished it. It's still not even done, but it is decorated for fall. And I thought you guys might like a little sneak peek of how my apartment's coming along and how it looks during the fall time. And I want to thank Displate for sponsoring this video and sending me these amazing metal prints above my desk, which you will see later on in the video. They are amazing. They're the easiest thing to put up. They're sturdy and they're gorgeous. It took me less than five minutes to put both of these up. I just stuck these magnets onto my wall, held them down for like 20 seconds, and then placed my prints. If you wanna get the same pieces as me, I got the entire set of five pictures, so I will link that set down below. And I have three more prints from this set, so let me know where you think I should hang them up in this video. If you wanna check out Display and maybe pick up some art of your own, then you can use the coupon code Sienna for free shipping off your order, so click the link in the description box below, and. And let's just get into the video. This is my front door. This is what you see when you come in. I just have this fake fiddle fig leaf. And then over here, I've got my laundry room, which I will show you in my full apartment tour. And then you turn around and this is what you see. There's me, what's good. This is what you see when you walk into my apartment. So here is my kitchen. This is the first thing that you step into when you come into my apartment. I love my kitchen so much. I spend a lot of time in here. On my countertops, I. I just have your basic stuff. So the corner over here, I just have this gold fruit bowl that I got from Target. Then next to it, I've got this wooden banana hanger that I got from Crate and Barrel. Next to it, I have this gold and wood fruit basket. That is from Anthropology. If we move along over, I have this bottle of French lemonade, and I love all things French, so I thought it fit really nicely in my kitchen. Then next to that, I just have this mason jar that is spray painted white with a bunch of dried lavender in it. I need to turn. And then we have my coffee maker, which I haven't used since I lived at my mom's, honestly, because I make all my coffee with a French press or my Chemex, which you see over here. Next to the coffee maker, I have this white cookie biscuit bin that I got from Home Goods, which I keep my dog treats in for my dog, Atticus. Next to it, I've got the Chemex, like I said. And we move over a little bit, and I've got this little coffee canister, and that is from Crate and Barrel, of course. And next to it, I've got this white utensil holder for all my utensils but that is actually from Target. Then if you go on the other side of my kitchen, the bar stools that I have are from West Elm. I love them so much. They are perfect. They go with my kitchen and my apartment really well. Yeah, that's my kitchen. Let's move on into the apartment. So this is my living room situation. You know how living rooms work. Let's take a look. So over here is my West Elm piece. I love this so much. It's a new addition to my apartment. I think it just perfectly captures the essence of what my apartment style is. I just love browns, warm tones, and mid-century modern. That's kind of my vibe. It's really essentially just this kind of cabinet thing, and then it comes with a bookshelf hutch. It doesn't come with it, but like you can order it together, and that's what I did. On the bottom shelf, I have my little Lit Less poster. I love this, it's from Society6. Then next to it, I just have a black skull candle. And then front and center, I've got my positive dog book, which just happens to be orange and fits perfectly with the fall theme. But it's actually a really good book if you want to just kind of remember some key points about positivity. Then I have my stack of French Vogue with a Bath and Body Works pumpkin candle next to it. And then on my second shelf, I just have more books. And I like to turn my books inside out. In, is that the right term, inside out? So I've got my little book stack over here, and yes, I have a Hitler book. Um, I have an odd fascination with World War II and Hitler. Then next to that, I have my black and skull candy dish, which doesn't actually have candy in it because I don't eat candy. Then next to that, I have my sage smudge stick, which is to get rid of the little dick energy so that we only have big dick energy. And then next to that, we've got a little brown glass bottle, which is actually a kombucha bottle that I just took the label off of and stuff on my bookshelf because it matches. And next to that, we have this little pumpkin lantern. Then we've got more books. And then on the next shelf, I have this little skull candy dish, another candy dish. And then on the top shelf, we've just got all books and then this little skull vase. Moving over here, we have my first plant that I'm introducing you to. I have a little plant family going. So this first plant is a birds of paradise plant. He's doing so well. Actually, it's not a he, it's a she, and her name is Jess. She was my first. I got her in this basket from Pier 1 Imports. And then if you move over to the left, we've got a little 
plant family going on in the corner. This one over here is a pothos and his name is Dorian. And then the little cactus in front, his name is Alaric. And the snake plant behind it is named Violetta. And then we've got this little glass skull next to it, which is from Target. On the floor by Jess, I actually have some prints from Society6. This one is this little boy holding a gun. I don't support gun violence. I also don't support children with guns, but I thought it looked great. The gun follows you wherever you go in the apartment. Sometimes I've woken up in the middle of the night and I've spooked myself and I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna shoot at me, but it's a painting, so I should chill. It's a photograph, not a painting. My last four brain cells struggling. And then we move over to the left and this is my console from CB2. And then above it, I just have my TV. It's a Samsung, I don't know if you care. I don't know if I care. And then next to that, I just have this little glass photo frame that I got from Urban Outfitters. And inside it, I have some Polaroids of me and my wives, Haley and Kelsey, when we went to Fiji. Then moving all the way down to the left corner, I've got a little stack of books. Of course, my apartment is just filled with books because hello, I'm a book hoe. But next to the books, I've got a little Pentax film camera. I do like to take film photos, but that is that. And then next to that, I have this little wicker basket from Amazon, which I usually have a palm tree in, but she did, she died. So rip, she's gone. Um, so now it's just the basket, but in front of it, I've got my stack of magazines and New Yorkers. I didn't even plan to stack those there. It's just, I started piling up my magazines there because I know where to put them. And now I kind of like the look of it. So it's here to stay. Then if we move on over, the rug that I have in my living room is from Urban Outfitters. And then we've got my coffee table on top of it, which is of course from West Elm. On top of my coffee table, I have got my stack of kinfolks. And then moving over, I have this little black tray that that I got from Target a while ago. And inside of it, I just have this little gold candle and then another Bath and Body Works candle inside it. And then I have got my little gold candelabra candlestick from CB2 inside of that. And then we keep on moving over and I have got my couch. I think it's called the Antwerp couch from none other than West Elm. On top of it, I just have a little knit blanket. I think it's from Home Goods actually. Next to my couch on the left side, I have this little milk crate that I got and painted white from Michaels. Inside it, I just have more throw blankets and my records. Then if we move over to the right of the couch, I have my little black coffee table, which actually I think was white originally. And my mom spray painted it for me black and it looks amazing. It's from Ikea. And on top of it, I have the other two candlesticks that came in the set from CB2. And I have a little stack of books again and shout out to Orion. Her book is amazing. I have that just sitting front and center on my side table because that book is gorgeous inside and out. And then just a little coaster from Anthropology. Not my dog, this is my mom's dog, Jake, but you guys have seen him before. I just swapped dogs with my mom for a little bit. He's a little chihuahua papillon, but my dog is a cocker spaniel and his name is Atticus. Then over here is my mirror section. So I have got my mirror, which I'm standing in front of. This is from Ikea. And the plant next to it is another plant in my plant family. His name is Ernest and he's a fiddle leaf fig. And I've got him in this basket that I got from World Market. Okay, both of the baskets that I have in my apartment are from World Market, not Pier 1. Scratch that, we got it wrong, abort mission. Then next to that, I've just got this glass little bottle that I picked up from World Market 2. I think it just fits the look. Then over to my right, I've got this lamp from Target. I just saw this and instantly fell in love. Next to it, I have got a big white pillow that I've had forever just to kind of hide the cords. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that there, but that's what we've got for now. Next to it, I have, again, more stacks of magazines and books. And then over by my windows, I have these black shelves from Ikea, which I don't intend on keeping because I don't like the black look, I wanna do the brown, so I'm trying to get brown shelves under there. Then over here is my desk section. These are the metal prints that I was talking about from Displate. Look at how gorgeous they are. I love this collection, which like I said, I will link below if you wanna pick it up. I just thought that these pieces really fit the vibe of my apartment and I don't know. We just like what we like and we can't really explain it. My desk is just this really white, sturdy, very spacious desk from, of course, West Elm. And the chair that I have sitting at it is a wishbone chair that I actually got from Amazon. If I was a chair, I would be this chair. On top of my desk, I just have my desktop computer, which I've had forever, love her dearly. Then on the right side, we have another stack of painted books. Propped up next to it is this print from Society6. I'm actually going to replace soon because I think it looks a little too busy with the new art. Then I have just a little sparkly pumpkin on top of the books and another Bath and Body Works candle. Then behind me on this left side, we've got this white ceramic vase 
from West Elm. I have some silver dollar eucalyptus in it. It is dead because I haven't gone to the farmer's market, so she did. And then I have this white and brown pencil cup from Target that I just keep pens in. And then next to that, we've got just this little gray skeleton. Skeleton, that's a new thing. Okay, I keep this gray skull next to the pencil cup, and that is from Michaels. Let's move on to my bedroom. So this is my bedroom. I think it's really cozy, and the color scheme in here is perfect. My bed frame is from Pottery Barn. It's just this white, kind of shabby chic metal frame. I don't know. I need to get some pillows for my bed, obviously, to decorate it a little bit more, but right now it's just plain white. In front of my bed, I have this dresser from West Elm, of course. It's the same mid-century modern line as my bookshelf in my living room, but it's in white. On top of it, I just have my other Xbox, my daily purse, and my TV. And then on the other corner, I've got this little basket with fall flowers, a candle from PF Candle Co. I love that brand. And then I have this little framed quote by Oscar Wilde that says, with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy? Then moving back to the bed area, in the farthest corner to the right, I have my lamp from West Elm. Then next to my bed, I have one of my nightstands, which is again, from West Elm, and it's from the Mid-Century Modern Collection, but it is in white. On top of my first nightstand, I just have this white ceramic vase that has some little baby's breath. I think it's baby baby's breath. Then next to that, I just have this candle from Target, and then next to that, we've got another book stack, and on top of that, I have this white pumpkin from Michaels. On my bed, intertwined in it, I have this DIY garland that I made. It's leaf garland from Michaels, and I intertwined it with fairy lights. I think it's just really cozy at night if you want to read. And then on my right nightstand, it's the more spooky side. So I've got this spooky season print or art that I made myself in a DIY video. Then next to that, I have this little what is it called? Like the globe, snow globe, I guess? Well, it's a snow globe of a little cat with some spell books underneath him. Then on the other side, I have this glass jack-o'-lantern. Moving on to the left corner of my room, I have this Alex nine drawer stand from Ikea, which I don't think is cute at all, but I have nowhere else to put my makeup, so here she stays, or he. Who knows? On top of it is actually my favorite part. I love it so much. So I've got this jewelry stand from Urban Outfitters. I really love it. Next to it, I just have this little glass candle holder with a tea light candle in it from CB2. Next to that, I have my Sandalwood Rose PF Candle Company perfume. I think the bottle is the most beautiful packaging ever. Then over in front of that, I have this gold ring catch-all dish. Then moving over to the left more, I have my clothing rack, and this is from Ikea. On it, I just have clothes that match the color scheme of my apartment theme. Below it, I just have some of my more black leathery shoes. I just started leaving my shoes there, and then I was like, hey, this is kind of cute, so that is where the black shoes remain. I don't know why I have my dog's cage still. He honestly is never in it unless he's sleeping, so it's kind of just an ugly dog bed at this point, which I could do with getting rid of. That is actually my entire apartment, so let's go to the outro. That is everything for my fall apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Peace, love, and blessings. I don't know, but bye.